What is up guys this is Ayush here back with another video and in this video I am going to show you how to dual boot Prime OS with Windows 10 and how to fix external monitor or TV resolution. If you want to use external monitor with Phoenix OS then you can check out my other video from the description. Please drop a like if this video works for you and guys if you are facing another issue in which Prime OS does not save data then this video is for you so let's get started. First of all download these files from the description. And the first file here is primers ISO file, second is tools and third is EC, easy bcd and fourth is menu.lst. First of all mount the first file that is the ISO file and copy these files and paste it onto another folder named as android. Create a new folder and name it as android and type that letters in small letters cause this is case sensitive. Type android in small letters and paste all the files in it. Once that is done, we don't need this primary ISO, let's put it on a side and then run Remix OS, Remix Tools I mean. Just run Remix Tool and create a data file, data.img file so that our data can be saved. I am creating only 3 gigs, almost 3 gigs of data.img file but I would recommend you to create at least 16 gigabytes. Here select the android folder that we just created and then tap on this ok button and create the data.image file. Now it's saying all done which means it is created successfully. So in total we have got here like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 files. Once that is done move this android folder to the root of the c drive. Now download and install EasyBCD on your device. This is a free program that lets you create and edit boot entries. Now just run it and go to its add new section, add new entry section and then select new grub tab and then tap on install. What this does is it will create another folder in the C drive named as NST. Go to the C drive, you will get another folder named as nst, open it and you will get another file inside it named as menu.lst file. Now just open it with any text editor that you want and, and open the file that I provide you to in the description and then copy the, all the text from it and then paste it onto the original menu.lst file. Once that is done, save the file and restart your PC. Now when you boot up your PC you will get another entry named as new boot, new grub bootloader along with the windows 10. Just select new grub bootloader entry and then select this prime OS option and you are good to go. The dual boot process is complete but wait external monitor resolution is not fixed yet. Now to fix external monitor or TV resolution just boot back to windows and then go to nst folder and open up the menu.lst file and then just copy this text to create another entry and then paste it. This way we can create entries inside that uh, boot option. Now just rename the title whatever you want I am going to go with prime os external monitor support. You can name it anything that you want. Now the most important thing to get uh, full resolution support on external monitor is to add this line after the word quite video equal to LVDS. Just copy this from the description and paste it. Once that is done save and restart your PC.
Now here select new grab bootloader and then select the new entry that we just created. I have named it as PrimeOS external monitor so here it is. Now just select it. So yeah guys it worked as you can see it's working and there is no crop or anything like that so that's it for this video guys and don't forget to check out my other videos and please 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 drop a like on this video bye guys peace